Every living creature is made up of cells. Although they're too tiny to see, each cell is a bustling hub of activity. Molecules called proteins are constantly catalyzing chemical reactions to move energy and nutrients around and keep the cell alive. One of the most common chemical reactions proteins use is known as an oxidation reduction, or redox reaction. In these reactions, one molecule atom or ion loses electrons, and another one gains electrons. Redox reactions are central to making new cell parts, helping cells get rid of toxins, and allowing them to fight infections. They are also critical to the ability for living things to harness energy from the world around them. For example, this protein complex uses redox reactions to perform a critical step in the process animal cells use to extract energy from food. It does this by catalyzing a series of redox reactions at different areas within the protein. These areas, called redox centers, are located close enough together to allow electrons to shoot from one center to the next in milliseconds, creating an electron tunnel that shuttles electrons through the protein. Scientists have learned that the vast majority of redox centers in proteins are less than 14 angstroms apart, suggesting that this is the ideal distance for building an effective and efficient electron tunnel. Scientists are learning to distill redox proteins down to their key parts in order to build artificial proteins, called maquettes, that can accomplish the same chemical feats. Their hope is that someday maquettes may help us create new ways to harvest energy or to perhaps replace proteins in the human body that are not functioning properly.